Okay, a quick update on the way to Urgune. I saw these prices and I kind of like them because usually these uh, covered wagons go for 2,000 each. Instead, I went for these super wagons because they're, they're just super. Anyway, they carry a lot of stuff and that's good. The more room we have, the better. Uh, after I upgrade the last of my covered wagons with these super wagons, then I think um, we're gonna call, we're, we're just gonna buy these from now on and that's just gonna be my wagon of choice. None of them are broken. I still have the three Lichalians, which is good. So that means I can carry uh, 47 kilograms, ki ki kilograms, ki ki kilograms, ki 47,000 units. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd update that. So it's, you're going to see that and you're going to be like, what, what happened? Well, maybe I can take a, a ship to Urgune. No, I can't. This is new, by the way. This is like brand new. Like, I've never seen these before. You couldn't travel along the rivers before. So they're upgrading. They're still updating this game. And that just kind of blows my mind. That there's, even though they, they say, oh, we're not in alpha, they're still adding new quests. They're still adding new uh, capabilities. That's cool. That's cool. So, uh, all right. Uh, also, ooh, should I? No. I've actually seen uh, them go for cheaper, and I have a three luck, which is as high as I can get. All right, under Gune. What's this? I'm in Osmore, and somebody wants a quest? See that carriage? Yeah. Everyone thinks I'm on it. Oh. Wow. Well, <laughs> wow. Well, while we'll ride on yours to Siltara. I know you don't trust my type, but you'll trust 1,500 gold. Right? Hop in, we're moving. <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, that's chump change to me these days, but uh, <laughs> fuck it, I'm in it for the adventure. Let's do it. Let's save. Yeah, save. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, we got another quest over here. Cool. You look like a good man. I am. It wasn't that hard to find you. It was. It's not. I have a business to do in here, and I can't go to Dunlar with this package. So, if you are discreet and quick, I shall reward you when you come back. Here, with the item you bring in return. Can you manage that? Uh, discretion was my middle name. It's very valuable indeed, and I am a discreet man. I can make the delivery. I receive... Uh, it smells like meat. All right, well, Urgune first, and then I guess Siltara, which is over here, and he wants me to go to Dunlar, which is down here. You know, I can knock these out pretty easily. Cool, 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 cool. And I'm just about to get to Urgune and finish up a long, a long carried quest. Yes, I'll help him. And he gives me low merchandise in Turnagan. Turnagane. All right, first off first, and no matter how many steps you have taken, no matter how much gold you need to spend, the only thing that counts is your gold. Here's your gold. Thank you. Well, he paid me quite a bit for the trouble, so I'm not going to complain too loudly. All right. Carpets are cheap? Question mark? I still have yet to see these be useful on my way around. Uh, ore is a little bit too high. Olive oil is a little bit too high. I wonder if olive oil has dropped in price with the update. Because I notice it's not like 75 like it normally is. So that, that would be... Uh, actually, that would be kind of mean to them to do that. Nothing else is worth buying here, I notice. Wood, I'm keeping an eye on that. But I'm kind of noticing wood. You want that at about 25 or 20? Yeah, about... I would say about 25. Let's, I, I would put a... a an amount I've been keeping an amount on this and of course when um, um, who was I watching I was watching Splattercat I watch a lot of let's players I was watching Splattercat and he was um, he was saying that probably the best thing to do is to deal with all of your trading and all of your marketing during the summertime and in the winter time you sell everything and then you do most of your fighting during the winter time get all your your troops together and get them all all riled up that's cool I'm gonna try that strategy uh, nothing here is worth anything, and I guess I'm on my way to Siltara now. Hmm, that's the best way to get there. I guess just to go past Overos, yeah. Hey everybody, I'm an Overos. Let's be careless and take chances. 
Uh, this item here, I, I want to kill that Stonehenge beastie, and I, I'm thinking I want this. Clawing is a dangerous animal. What? Claw clawing, sorry. Clawing is a dangerous animal, but almost completely un exterminated, thankfully. You can still come across it in our barbarian fortress. Forest. Uh, I cannot talk. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. You can still come across it in barbarian forests, where it is considered a holy beast. Even though it is quite small, it can easily kill an opponent five times its size. It uses some sort of magic that confuses the opponent. Its claw can be used as an amulet, and they'll and they let you cloud your opponent's minds too. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. You're accosted by a mysterious wanderer. He wants to join your crew. Ah. Uh, if you want to accept the foreman for free into your crew, how, uh, how much do I pay him? Foreman. Foreman. That's for building. Well, it's free. So, welcome aboard. The main thing is to keep a low profile. Don't stand out. It makes you live longer. So take this and live well. Cheers. Huh? Money for nothing and the chicks for free. I don't pay him anything. A foreman. Alumin, alumni. Alumni. Sorry. I'm used to an A being there. Alumni of the Urgune Mining School, with just a fleeting look, he can recognize a vein of good ore and judge the condition of mining equipment. He even knows how to fight the monsters that want to nest in the mines. You can use him when exploring the abandoned mines, but his true value shows when you leave him in charge of an operating mine. Operating a mine. When you leave him in charge of that. If you'll remember to provide him with wood, the mine will bring a hefty profit. And also, he's free. He costs nothing. You can just keep him on your card. He actually kind of helps out, too. He keeps the map handy. I ask him, hey, what's up? He doesn't say anything, because, you know, he doesn't have a mouth. He just makes little neat slapping noises with his face. And I just kind of figure out, you know, one slap for yes, two slaps for no. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was delivering somebody here. Does anybody want hides? That's a good price for hides. There we go. And uh, the rest of the off suck. 41 for ore. Once again, I'm really not... I'm really not seeing anything from this amulet. I'm thinking this amulet might be a bad thing. Might have to get rid of it. Can I get rid of it? How much to sell it? Hey, how much? Oh my god, I can't get rid of it. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, what? Why am I not able to get rid of this damn thing? The lowest tier of the Dark Council uh, medallions. It's organized and working sneaky among the merchants of Kaidans. Legends about the extent of thoroughness of their plots and intrigue spread. And many key events are attributed to their activity. Some of the merchants... And officials know this symbol and will treat you in a pref preferential way. Well, preferential against me, son of a bitch. What am I doing with this? Small box that's pretty heavy. You're supposed to be quick and discreet with it. Don't look inside. Do, do you want to look inside? No. 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 Just no. Massage parlor. Later. Later. Now, I cannot buy a massage parlor. I was hoping that uh, the City Hall would show up. Once you get a high enough rank, City Hall should show up and you can actually say, Hey, you see that whorehouse? I mean, massage parlor? I want to buy that whorehouse. And they say, Okay, man, we, you can have this whorehouse massage parlor if you want. That's cool. We're not going to judge. Well, in fact, you bring in money. Cool. I got to go to Dunlar. Okay, what the hell am I doing in Dunlar? Oh, this guy. Who sent you? Oh, so you have the package. Good. Very good. Take this ring as a token. Right, I'll take it to Inakus. Hang on a second. I don't say. I don't think I heard that. Uh, I don't think I said that right. Let me pull out my megaphone. Right, I'll take it to Inakus. Does anybody else hear that? 
Uh, I guess I gotta go back to place or thing. These guys that come in and out. You know what? You're pretty. Have a champagne. Whoa, what is this? My dear friend, it's good to see you. Don't say you don't remember we. We didn't drink that much. Ha! <laughs> Here's a map I promised you. For the treasure you crave. Just give me 132 gold. You owe me for the drinks and it's yours. Yours. What am I doing? Yeah, you know, that's kind of chump change. Here you go. I got a map. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. Usually I just like, oh man. So so the, the moral of the story here is buy drinks for a pretty lady. Now I have 10,000. Let's see if I can finally upgrade my final deal. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. How much uh, room do I have? Uh, wrong thing. How much room do I have for cargo? Cool, this is the time to do it. Let's go ahead and change this out. We're gonna sell this. And we're gonna buy this. And now we can carry 6,000 kilograms. That's cool. Let's fill up with something. Mmm, food's a little bit high, but not, actually not too bad. And never mind, it is too bad. Hides are shit. Clothes, whoa, clothes are super cheap here. Wait, wait, what else do we got here? Wood, wood is getting down there. I'm guessing like 22, 25. Uh, olive oil is actually low enough to, wait, come back here. Olive oil is actually low enough to where I might conceivably go to Siltara with the olive oil. But I really wouldn't make that much of a profit. So it's not worth it. It's not worth my time still. Kind of wish I could get into jewelry. That's the next uh, next step up. Or everything else is just kind of like, eh, whatever. Alright, let's load up on uh, clothes. Uh, not that much, because I need at least 500 to travel with. That's the trouble with upgrading your, your thingy. I, uh, probably probably shouldn't have done that so fast. Also, we have a academy here in uh, Dunlar. Agriculture trains the mastery of botany, irrigation, and fermentation, and aging. Good for the, uh, the brewery that I want to start up. Okay, let's get out of here. Where am I going again? And here we are in Asmore. Did you deliver the gift? Great. It's a pleasure working with you. Here, I expect you're thirsty. Take this so you can get yourself a drink. Oh, thank you. That worked out well. I am made of happy. Actually, you know what I'm made of? Bloodthirstiness. Can we get a uh, mercenary in here somewhere? Mercenary? I'll wait. Just waiting for the mercenary. You're kind of neat looking. Let me buy you a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. You look like you have a story. Have a lot of... Have an expensive drink. The South. Oh, the South. It is said that the South... In the South, a legion of undeads arose. And they are rampaging the country. And that they crave spices. Don't ask me why. That's just what I've heard. Thanks. What? Uh, you have a baby and you came to a tavern. Here's a bunch of money. In the east, they say a flame dragon is loose. As opposed to an ice dragon, I guess. Look for the wizard that imprisoned it hundreds of years ago and forced it to heat his stone tower. Of course, the wizard is long dead. Well, that explains that dumb... <laughs> explains that to a dumb demon. Uh... All right. <laughs> uh, you. How much? 81 or 2 per day? I'm good with that. Because you are about to go here to a fallen tower. And... Yeah, you know what? I need more men. Cool. Search for me. Uh, nothing. Okay. Throw your lives away for me. Let's keep the three and send men. Undefeated. Damn. We got some kind of egg, I guess? We'll have to identify that. Some ore and some jewels. Hmm. Damn. How many men do I have left? Seven? Well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Awesome. All right, now check this out. I'm in Argune. The ore in Osmore that I was just at 
is selling for 43 and Argune is 31. I think I can finally make a decent profit here. Let's lower that. I want to give myself like 500, so like, yeah, to travel with. And let's see what this is like. Let's see what kind of shit ton of money we'll be making here. Uh, traveling Merchant Ford auction. Leave. I don't have the money for it. Are you still selling for... Yes, you are. Nice. Alright, and once again, carpets. What the hell? No, just... Wait, what's this ring? Why do I have this ring? Where did this ring come from? Hang on, let me sell this. Alright, that was a decent amount. What? What is this ring thing? That's new. The ugliest ring. This is the ugliest, cheapest ring you were given as a confirmation of your work. It has an awful pink glass, and it's probably made of lead. You can't think of any decent artifice, artificer who would agree to such to make such an awful thing. If, if fact, it's so strange, you suspect it's an artifact of some long-agone civilization. And looking at it, you're not surprised why it didn't last. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's identify. What is this? I uh, find out what this is. Yeah, here's 40. Oh, I got a paint, a counterfeit painting, a painting of a woman. Uh, yeah, we've already, we've already taken a look at this. Cool. Want it? Also, you want this ring? It's weird. It's weird. Take it. I don't want it. And, uh, yeah, take, take this as well. What is this map to? It's a map of mines, but it doesn't say where. I'll keep it, just in case. Hmm. 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 Right now, I'm over here at Siltaro's trying to sell some ores. I'm looking at this Reshun, not visited. We haven't been to the Barbarian Land. That needs to change. I need to bring something to the Barbarians first, and I think I have a couple of letters for Reshun. Let's see. Food and olive oil. Well... Even though I could sell olive oil for ridiculously high at Rishun, I could not buy it for ridiculously low, so it might not be worth it. But food, food's easy to come by. All we need to do is look for something at about maybe eight or nine a unit. Usually I don't go over nine, but or usually I don't go over eight. But if I sell it for a lot at Rishun, and I can fill up a lot of food for 9,000 gold, how much is it here? Too much. It'll shrink on the way back, and we're getting close to fall, so it's going to get uh, more pricey as we go anyway. I can't remember if the harvest in fall actually adjusts the price, and so food suddenly becomes really cheap. Mm, let me see what I can do. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Food for six per gold. And on the way, I found a merchant, but that's not the important part. The important part is, like... Ah, so much. Okay, we're going to see how much we can get for this, because this fills us up on food, and we're just going to march right into Rashoon and sell it like just, like dogs. We're going to make out like dogs. Doggy style. Two dogs fucking in the middle of the road, and then I'm going to run them over with my cart full of food.